Human cooperation is the most powerful force in human history. Humans cooperate in a constant feedback loop involving emotion, it's involving shared attention, it's involving communication, and it's involving teamwork. The next era will be defined by human cooperation with intelligent machines. We have to build computers that can understand us and we can understand them in an intuitive manner. My name's Mark Sager and with my team I've been developing autonomous virtual humans and characters. Soul Machines is humanising computing, so we're building computers that you can have face-to-face -face interactions with in a human-like manner. They have their own brains which are driving their behaviour, virtual nervous systems, virtual bodies. They can learn in real time, they can be empathetic, they can interact, they can speak, they can do all kinds of things which we can do. And it gives us a natural way for us to interact with the computer just like we can interact with another person. Fundamental to what we're doing is a research project called Baby X. Baby X is basically trying to build a virtual infant that can learn through experience and act and interact in a very human-like way. We want to build a computer that can be taught like a child. With BabyX, we're interested in the fundamentals of what it takes to socially interact, to pay attention to things, to form associations, to react emotionally. So she can sense, she can see through the web camera, she can hear through the microphone, she can interact with things like web pages on the internet, and she can express herself. Now, what does this mean for storytelling? If you think about how an author creates a character, so an author will give a character particular characteristics, then imagine what would happen to them in different situations. In this case, we create the character's sensitivities, their memories and so forth, and see what they do. Character-driven narratives have almost unlimited potential. By making autonomous characters, we can connect the viewer, the audience, to the story in a way which has never been done before. If we create an autonomous character that has a brain, has a memory, has emotions, and can experience the world in its own right, we can then put that character in a virtual world and we can have it interact with other characters, millions of these characters, in worlds which are unimaginable. We can interact with it, we can influence its journey, we can care for it, we can see what happens to it, we can actually become connected to these stories. They'll connect us into a world of infinite imaginative possibilities. And so the journey will not be a passive thing where you're an audience to a story. You will be a participant in a story. You will have responsibility to what's happening in that story. These types of things can totally change the way in which storytelling works. And it'll be endlessly fascinating.